You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a quick install guide on how to install, configure, and play Xandronum. I'm gonna be streaming Xandronum live tomorrow on my channel. I want to send you guys a quick little install guide so you could see how to install this game for yourself so that you can play it right alongside with me. So let's go ahead and by going up to Google and typing in Xandronum. We're going to click on this first link, xandronum.com, and we're going to get the latest version, 3.04 Windows. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say why I'm installing this, that this does require you to have Doom 1 and Doom 2. Mostly just Doom 2 is that's what the servers require. You probably don't even need Doom 1. You could probably get away with just owning Doom 2, but you do need to own Doom 2. You do need the .wad file for it. Um, the the uh, Xandronum and the software bundled with it will offer to install free Doom with you, but most servers don't use that. They use the regular Doom 2 WAD, and if you try to use free Doom with that, it won't work. I know because I've tried. So anyway... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the portable installation of this, which means it's just going to kind of keep everything concise, and I can just delete it freely whenever I choose. I'm going to install that to local disk C, and I'm going to create a folder here called Xandro Num. Click OK. We're going to extract this to that folder. All right, so it's finished. So I'm going to go open up my Windows Explorer, go to local disk Z, Xandro Num. And I'm going to open up, let's see, yeah, I'm going to open up xandronum.exe. It's going to open up Doom 2 BFG Edition. So I'm going to go with Hardware OpenGL, and I'm going to uncheck this box that says Full Screen for a second here, because this is going to require me to configure my monitor. So there's something a little bit particular with this program where it doesn't always get the monitor that I want for it to get correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to console here, and I'm going to type in vid underscore list adapter. List adapters. Okay. So you see how it says 1 1920 by 1080? I have a three monitor setup, and I want to use my primary one, which is 1440p. So I'm going to tell it to use the middle monitor, and then I'm going to restart the program. So we're going to type in vid adapter 2. All right, so then we're going to exit out of here. We're going to quit Xandronum, and we are going to restart it. All right, now most of you won't have to do this if you don't have multiple monitors set up, but if you do, make sure that you've selected the correct monitor that you want to use for Xandronum. Okay, so we're going to go to options here, and I'm going to start off by customizing my controls. Actually, you know what? Check that. We'll start by going with our video mode. So let's go here to aspect ratio and set that to 16 by 9, which is what my monitor is. Um, let's see. We are going to go down here to 2560 by 1440, and I'm going to select that. It's going to make it nice and big on my screen, and now I can set it to full screen. Okay, so that is all good and done. So this is finished. Now I'm going to customize controls. For fire, I want mouse 1. That's fine. Secondary fire, I want mouse 2. Now, weapon reload, I'm going to put R. Use, I'm going to put E. WSAD is fine for this. Uh, let's see, what else? Jump, I want space. Crouch, I want control. And I th think that's everything. Run is shift, okay. Scoreboard is that, that's fine. Um, actually, I think I'm going to set that to caps lock. I'm kind of picky. It's weird, I know, but whatever. Uh, say we're going to set to Y. Team, say we're going to put to U. I don't know how we're going to use that, but I just want it there just in case. And I think that's it. Uh, there should be like one other thing. Oh, yeah, vote. Vote yes. Uh, we're going to put F1. Vote 2, we're going to put F2. We're going to put for vote no. Okay. So let's go up here to player setup. Now, by default, your name is going to be player, and I don't know why you would want that for your name. So for me, I'm going to put in Kess Gaming YT. Might as well do a shameless plug of the channel. So then here you can set up the color for your um, for your Doom guy. I want mine to be like a nice uh, orange. So I'm going to put red all the way up here. And we're going to put green maybe down here more towards the center. And there you see a nice little orange effect. That's perfect. Okay, so for auto aim, we're going to set that to never. 
Um, always run is going to be on. Weapon setup, we're going to make it so it never switches to new weapons when we pick them up. Because that's very annoying. Okay. So then we are going to, let's see, go to mouse options. Let's check this. I want to make sure everything is correct. Okay. So this is all fine. This is all fine. Okay. So everything is good in mouse options. I'm not even going to mess with any of this. Uh, let's see. Gameplay options. Everything's fine here. Compatibility options. Don't need to mess with HUD options. Now for this, since I'm playing this at a higher resolution, the HUD is going to be kind of smaller because it's really configured to run at a lower resolution. So I'm going to go here to message options and we want to go to text scaling and turn this on. Uh, and then we're going to go to use screen ratio and set that to yes. Okay, so that's what we want that to be at, and that's going to kind of help fix the resolution issue. Um, what else? What else? I think that's everything. Okay. Miscellaneous options. No. Sound options are fine. Uh, display options will probably be the last thing we need. So here I'm going to go to OpenGL options. Dynamic light options. I want everything here set to yes. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, texture options. Let's see. Textures enabled. Yes. Texture filtering mode. We're going to set this to the highest one possible, which is, or I'm sorry, actually texture filter mode is going to be none. I'm getting that confused with answer. And an anisotropic filter. I can never say that correctly. We want that to 16 X, which is the highest will go texture format. I'm going to set that to, um, let me see if I can find it. I think I went backwards instead of forwards. I did. All right, hold up. We want that to be RGBA8. I think that was actually just the default. So, <laughs> whoops. Enable high res textures. Yes. High quality resize mode. Um, yes. And I want this set to HQ4X, which is the highest it can be. Okay. Resize textures on. Resize fonts on. Precast GL textures. Yes. Camera textures off screen. Yes. Okay. So, that's all good, and then we're going to go down here to preferences. Uh, sector light mode, either will work. Um, I'm probably just going to set it to doom. Uh, fog mode, I'm just going to keep that on standard, I think. Let's see. Uh, enhanced night vision mode, I'm going to turn that off. Uh, force brightness fog, no. Uh, adjust sprite clipping, we're going to set that to smarter. Let's see. Fuzz style, uh, we'll just keep that at shadow where it is, particle style, um, smooth, and then for rendering quality, we're going to set that to quality. All right, so now that we are done configuring everything, we can go ahead and close Xandronum. We don't need to open that again, um, because that's just basically the source port. So now we're going to go here into Doomseeker. Now, we can actually just create a little shortcut for Doomseeker, because that's our browser menu. And we could just make a little shortcut for that on the desktop, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. But in here, we want to make two new folders, and you'll see why in a minute. So this one we're going to call iWads. Um, I, well, oh, I have caps lock on. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Okay, uh, iWads. And then we're going to make another one called Watts. So for iWads, we're going to put our Doom... Uh, our Doom wads in, the ones that we actually own, Doom 1 and Doom 2. So for me, I own this through the Steam Doom 3 BFG edition. So I'm just going to navigate to my Steam folder, Steam apps, common, Doom 3 BFG edition, base, um, wads, Doom and Doom 2. We're going to copy those and we're going to paste them in here. Now, wherever you own these and wherever it's installed to, just grab them and copy them over to here. Okay. Then we are going to open up, we can close this now, we're going to open up Doomseeker. Now, Doomseeker is going to download WADs from uh, basically these servers. Now, normally it would download them to some random folder in your app data folder, which is going to create a lot of, take up a lot of space. It's going to be hard to find and clean up when you don't want to play Xander none anymore and just take up space in your hard drive. I'm going to configure it to use this WADS folder here so that when we remove Xandronum, when we're done with it, it'll remove everything. It'll just make cleanup so much easier. But first, we need to go ahead and install updates. New updates are available. Um, also, sometimes this pops up with a message asking you to give it access to your firewall. If it does that, just go ahead and click Allow Access. 
because uh, it needs that to communicate with the servers. Okay, so we're gonna go here to options and configure. Let's see, we wanna make sure this is to the right. Xandronome executable, it is, that's great. Okay, so now we're gonna go to file paths. So you see here where it says this little uh, error message? We're going to go ahead and, um, let's see, I think it already has these paths in here correctly. Actually, it has wads and iwads, that's great. So that should be all good. I don't know why it has this little error message. It's kind of concerning me, uh, but unless it causes problems, I guess I won't worry about it. So let's go ahead and try connecting to a server. So some of these are password protected. They have the little locks on them. Uh, the other ones just say enforce master bands. We can join any of those we want to. So I want to join something that's got some players in it. This has got 10. This has, how many people does this one have? Uh, this one has nine. I think we can just sort by players, can't we? We can. So, huh, not a pe lot of people online, but it is like really late in the evening, so I guess that's to be expected. Uh, we'll just go to Saxton Hale Rebirth Plus, I guess. Uh, this is funny. Apparently we got some TF2 fans here. So we're gonna install this to our WADS folder. And that should be all good, I'm hoping. So, here we go, and boom, there you go, and there you see it guys, it is pretty darn easy, see it's a spectang, press space to join, join game, class Mega Man, apparently there's some Mega Man knockoff, so I'm waiting in line to play, I guess I have to wait till, uh, the lobby ends, or the match ends. They're going around killing their enemies. So I guess it's some pretty fun free-for-all type map. But anyway, you guys get the general idea. That's how you install Xandronum. That's how you join all the little multiplayer matches and stuff. Like I said, I am going to be streaming this live um, tomorrow on my channel. It'll probably be the same day you see this video up, just a few hours later. I'm recording this the evening before the stream. Uh, but I'm looking forward to playing with you guys on some servers. I know it's going to be a stinking of fun. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Till next time, I've been your host, Cast Gaming. This is a guide on how to install Xandronum. Till next time, I'll see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I'm about to end this man's whole career.